Hello, this is Russ Walden with Father's Heart Ministry, and I want to welcome you to the October War Room Prayer event. Prayer is not begging or pleading. It's ruling and reigning. And we come here this evening connecting all over the world. We have people coming to us from Australia, from the UK, from Kuwait, and across the United States and Canada, and other countries as well, to form an Ascension Network. There's something that happens when you pray across national boundaries and municipal boundaries, even as Jesus, when he prayed for the blind man, he took him out of the, the border, the limits of his village, and prayed for him after being unable to heal him inside the boundaries of the village. And when he took him out, he prayed for him again, and, and he was restored to his sight. There is something that happens when someone prays for you from outside the environs of your personal space. The enemy is a legalist, and something about these boundaries uh, trips him up and impedes him as we come together using technology to form uh, an ascension network that we might ascend in worship and descend in warfare. I want to invite you to... Text your prayer request. We have about 150 prayer requests that have come in over the internet. And also you can text your prayer request to a number that I'm going to give you. Uh, it won't be possible for you to call because this is the, the number that I'm using. We're, we're coming to you via conference call through freeconferencecall.com through streaming audio via Spreaker.com. If you go to Spreaker.com and do a search for Father's Heart Ministry, you'll find our live broadcast in progress. Also, we're streaming video through Ustream.com. And if you go to Ustream.com and do a search for Father's Heart Ministry, you'll find our live broadcast. It's an honor to come to you. It's an honor to join with you. We are the Ecclesia of God. We are called together to wage war, to do business for God. If we can get behind these prayer requests the way the church at Antioch in Acts chapter 13 got behind Paul and Barnabas, then we can see shift and transition happen. The kingdom of God doesn't come with observation. The kingdom of God requires participation on our part. What you and I do with what God has set over our lives is much more powerful than uh, what we are waiting upon Him to do or to say. So I invite you to text your prayer requests to area code 417-332-7749. That's area code 417-332-7749. We're entering into a time when the plowman overtakes the reaper. We're seeing many instances of e almost immediate answers to prayer. It's a new day. It's a time of shift. It's a time of commissioning. It's a time of coming not as a victim, uh, but coming as entitled sons and entitled daughters. Lodging our petitions and seeing the Father breathe upon our petitions and returning them to us as declarations and proclamations that are released into the earth, even as we see when we draw back the veil of the book of Revelations, we see the prayers of the saints laid like 
coals of incense that come to the Father as a sweet-smelling savor, and then the angels take them with tongs as hot coals and cast them into the earth, and there's lightnings and thunderings and earthquakes. That's what your prayer does when it's been breathed upon by the Father. It becomes creative and powerful and efficacious in your life. The prayer you offer up to God in petition, he delivers back to you empowered by his grace in declaration and proclamation. Again, you can text your prayer requests to 417-332-7444. You can also log in at mediachurch.net, go to the live and also to the prayer link there at mediachurch.net, and you can email your request in. And again, I say to you that prayer is not begging or pleading. Prayer is ruling and reigning in Christ. So, Rabba Shebe Kista the Lord told me years ago, as a pastor, he said, if you want people to pray, you pray with them. We do this prayer event every month, we, and it's live. We also do a live media church event. Usually those events are two weeks apart. Uh, on a Thursday this um, month, we had to move it back to a Wednesday. But to pray with you, and prayer is not about having a kumbaya moment where we sit around and feel sorry for each other in the name of Jesus. Prayer is us coming together, connecting with one another, and so I urge you, do not just passively observe. Do not just be a hearer. I charge you in the name of Jesus to open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray in your prayer language. That We do a lot of praying in tongues in the war room because when we pray in tongues, it's like spraying pepper spray in the enemy's eyes. He cannot look into that which we're praying. As we lift up these prayer needs. Now, just begin to pray with me for a moment in strong tongues. I charge you to open your mouth and join with me. Rule and reign with me. Let us ascend. He said we've been seated with Christ in heavenly places. Let us ascend together. Just as we go to church, we say, let's all stand. Well, let's all ascend in this moment. So tabahas tabaraba katishi misete basta robo dasta brebendiste kora brebendidi bista dushta robo roba sate de bikeste de bia. Oh, how powerful it is when we pray with the tongue of men and angels in April. When we did the war room, someone from Italy uh, gave us feedback and they said, while you were praying in the war room, you were praying in perfect Italian, that will be enough of that. That's the heart of God toward the needs in your life. Sotta barabba let there be a commissioning of angels. This is a season of commissioning. God is bringing up this uh, October, November, December. It's the preamble to the coming year of commissioning and breakthrough. It's a year. It's a time of commissioning and breakthrough. Sota baraba sata daba. Dida baraba sita daba sota. Deste bikita baraba sata namia. Your blessing time has come. We declare the blessing of God. We've been given commandment to bless. And we bless you. God told Abraham, I will bless those that bless you, and I will curse those that curse you. And that, that verbiage, curse those that curse you, it actually means I will execrate from your life those who even trifle with you. So God have mercy upon those who not only trifling with you, they've sought to harm you. They've sought to deconstruct your life. They've sought to, to see your peace destroyed. And I'm here to tell you that the blessings of Christ uh, through Abraham are upon you as a child of God. You are a part of the promised seed. And God is execrating from your life those who would even dare to trifle 
with you. Soto Brabo de Stide Brabo, Siti de Brabo, Gesti de Brabo de Stide Bia Satana Bosote, Dinda Basha Brabo de Bikista de Brabo Sende, Danda Brabo de Stide Brabo Sata. So we speak. We release the ecosystem of God's blessing. The Father says, I am establishing an ecosystem of blessing over you even at this moment. I'm putting an ecosystem of my favor round about you. We worship you, God. Let's learn how to pray. You know, the old timers, they knew how to pray through. Open your mouth wide, says the Father, will I not fill it? Sita baraba keste, will I not manifest the substance in your life? Sota bakise baraba, disamada baraba, sete de biaga, jara baraba, sete de biaga, baraba, sata. Sita bakasa de baraba, de de biaso de baraba, sete de biaga, sa baraba, sete. We pray for a spiritual daughter, Jackie. To relax, not be so confused and fearful. We break off of her the mind-binding spirits of fear in the name of Jesus. We pray for Blair right now. In the name. And I want you to call these names out with me. Many of these requests won't have a name attached to it. But I want a prayer of agreement. Say, yes, Lord. We're here to do business. That's what the ecclesia would do. When Jesus said he would build the ecclesia, he was not talking about a building. He was not talking about a passive religious body politic. He was talking about a group of people that would band together to wage war, to determine strategy, and to go out conquering and to conquer. Uh, come together with me, Sita Brabba Sata, as the Ecclesia of God. Let us minister unto the Lord. Let us pray. Let us uh, exercise our jurisdiction. We have jurisdiction. Sita Brabba de Kiste de Join my measure to your measure. Paul said he had a measure. And it reached to a certain environ and not beyond. But when your measure touches my measure, the measure of the apostle, the measure of the prophet, the measure of the believer as your measure touches my measure and the ecosystem of your authority and jurisdiction of God in God comes together. Change will be the result. Barabaka, I, I call upon you, I urge you, I commission you. Sita baraba sita de biaka. We release, Father, right now we just release the global prophetic initiative. We declare that Father Sar Ministry will raise up a 6,000 member ecclesia. We will raise up 1,000 people into prophetic office. We will fulfill our mandate. We will fulfill that which you have tasked us to, Father. We speak the favor of God upon Blair Williams right now in the name of Jesus. And we declare this is the day of favor in his life. So we pray for Angeline that she would begin to exercise her jurisdiction over her family and that the the curse of depredation and the, and the incursions of the enemy against her boundaries and her borders will be broken right now in the name of Jesus over Hannah Sita and Brad we pray for Catherine and for Gabe we say thy kingdom come thy will be done upon Catherine and Gabe we pray for the city of Phoenix we say we pray for this one speaking at a women's conference Lord, we ask for financial intervention. We release the favor of God. We declare that money moves by the Spirit and let it begin to flow. Let this lady begin to handle her finances according to the dictates uh, and the complexion of the economy of the kingdom, not the economy of man. 
Winta Boraba Sete de Bia Makeshimi de Boraba galvanize her to action that the release might come, Father, in Jesus' name. Sita da da baraba sete de bia casa. Father, we pray for Shay. Lord, in her husband's computer business, we command that computer business. Lord, let many bring their computers in. Let them come in and say, this computer annoys me. I need you to fix it. And Lord, give uh, her husband uh, the wisdom to know how to structure his pricing. And I just hear the Lord say, you're too cheap. You need to go up on your prices. Uh, you need to raise your prices. I know that's counterintuitive when you don't have enough business, but I hear the Father say, I'm speaking favor over this computer business. God, I pray that the favor that you gave me in the computer business for over 10 years, almost 15 years, I release it. I give all of that to Shay and to her husband. We command it to come. Let that 800-fold increase come upon uh, Shay and her husband, even as it did me in the computer business years back, and we just release. Let's speak favor over Shay and her husband and their computer business. We speak a release right now in the name of Jesus in prosperity. Supernatural provision for Lisa and for her family. God, we declare that money cometh. We declare the release, Father God, of the prophetic wisdom and vision to be released, Father, and cause financial breakthrough. We declare this is the time and the season of the plowman overtaking the reaper. As the seed goes in, so the full uh, corn in the ear comes forth. We bring and we command it to be, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for Chevalier, for Tarek, for Tere. Seta for Evan, Seta Mraba Seta for ABS Mobile and Gifted Hands Educational Service. Let your kingdom come and your will be done. Cause these businesses and ministry portions to break forth upon the right hand and upon the left. The Father says, My default answer to you is yes. We don't have to pray through. Say, How do you know God wants to bless all of these? The blood of the Son on the cross is the yes statement of the Father to bless and touch every life. We speak blessings over Marie in Canada, that, that there be a job, an intervention, a supernatural intervention. We call her the employed. We command employment to come right now. Are you in agreement with me? If you are in agreement with me, the scripture says nothing that we touch, so we touch Marie. We reach out and we touch her right now in the name of Jesus. And we send the angel of change to invoke the change. God's blessings to Kara in the name of Jesus. She prays for us, even so we pray for her. Let the blessings of Abraham, Lord, that you would bless those that bless Kara, and you would execrate from her life even those that would trifle with her. We band together, even as you said in your word, uh, that prayers be made everywhere and at all times. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places. We're not begging or pleading. We're ruling and reigning. We're seated with Christ in heavenly places, and he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Now I want everybody to laugh the laugh. It says, uh, kiss the son, lest he be angry with thee. Uh, he's talking about the enemies of God. Now let us all laugh the laugh of the one that sits in the heavenlies. Are you ready? ba ha 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 Bring Phoenix home safe, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Kim and, and Walt. We speak blessing upon them, Father, in the name of Jesus, and that this church in the center of New York City will be established and will become a bulwark of your kingdom in New York City. Sita in central New York, Father. Sita restoration of this family, Father. 
We pray for Sandra, for Sandra and her son, and we pray for a direction for this ministry. Lord, let your hand uh, manifest a directive understanding of what's on the morrow. Show Sandra how to do what she sees the Father do, have no opinion about the consequences, and relinquish the outcome. Are you in agreement with me? Are you praying with me? God's, his default answer towards you is yes. You don't have to overcome your reluctance to move on his on uh, his reluctance to move on your behalf because he doesn't have any. This is our time. This is our time of blessing. Our blessing time has come. For Alan. We speak blessings upon Alan and Tamara and Dakari and Khalil and Aiden and Maya. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, Father God. Healing, deliverance, provision. The God whose scrutiny is unalterable, let the unswerving scrutiny of God be upon every text, every email, Father God. He said that the world would be the path to the door of one whose prayers God answers. I ask, Father God, for that the answering prayer, that the robust ascension reality of answered prayer, as we pray in the Spirit, let our prayers be like the voice of many waters. Now let's all pray in strong tongues. Let, the, let us be like a ring of fire around the globe. For my, for my Yako, we pray for her right now in the name of Jesus. We speak the wealth of God would come upon her and that heaven would come to earth in her life. Let the audacious prayers be prayed. Let the religious spirit that illegitimate mind-binding spirit, that illegitimate authority over Kingston, Ontario, be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for bringing Phoenix home, Lord Jesus, safe and sound of mind and body. Let your kingdom come, Father God, upon Gordon and Monty and Tristan. You said, we've been given commandment to bless. We've been given commandment to bless. Let the word of blessing be in our mouth. And as we gather together in an ascension network and the word of blessing comes out of your mouth, what is released from you is multiplied back to you. What is released from you is multiplied back to you. I say you are the ecclesia of God and you have jurisdiction to bless. We bless, O oh God. So this family wants to move into their home by Christmas. God, I pray for expeditious uh, events to move them into this home for the holidays. For Brenda and Merlin, your kingdom come, your will be done. Let this marriage for Ryan and Victoria be strengthened, Father, in the name of Jesus. For Mason, Father God, this two-year-old boy that he would speak. Now let's pray for Mason, a little child. That needs to speak. I don't know what the issue is. Perhaps a concern about a diagnosis of autism. But how many know that the name of Jesus is greater than the name of autism? We pray and we plead the blood of Christ over Mason right now in the name of Jesus. We speak the word of deliverance. He's going to talk. He's going to talk. He's going to talk. He's going to look at his mom and his grandmother and he's going to say, Something's wrong with my mouth. I talk too much. <laughs> We release, we loose your tongue, Mason. Oh, restoration. Restoration for this family. For this husband, Father God, to be restored in the name of Jesus and then this family. God, I pray this husband would lay down his life uh, for his wife like Christ laid down his life for the church. 
I pray, God, you would bring him, you would, you would take the Nabal out of him and cause the David on the inside of him to stand up. Sota bara besita brabande stebaka raba brasta 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 se pikishta bara braba sata da bekese de de bia sata no makosta braba site lo rabande de de bia sapo kosho de de bia sata de bia daba for Michelle Father God we speak uh, the peace of God over Michelle and that her emotional well being would be secured in the name of Jesus we speak. Uh, supernatural provision over Lisa, over her family. Let there come a release. Give her opportunity, Father God, because I know what she does for someone else, you're going to make happen for her. We open the canopy of heaven that the, the stipend of the glory would be released from within you out to others. Lord, not only asking that your kingdom would come, we ask that our kingdom would come. The Father told me that to the degree you're willing for your kingdom to come upon somebody, your blessing, your authority to come and to benefit someone, to that same degree, his kingdom will come upon you. So, Father God, you've given us a kingdom. We're kings and priests unto God. We have jurisdiction. We say, uh, my kingdom, our kingdom come upon Lisa right now in the name of Jesus. What you've done in our life in the area of provision, health, strength, ministry, ministry portion, let that come upon Lisa to give your blessing to Lisa. Give your blessing to Lisa, and to the degree you're willing to give your blessing to Lisa, God's going to cause his blessing to come upon you. To the degree you're willing for your kingdom, your jurisdiction to come upon Lisa, to that same degree, the dividends of the Father's kingdom will be made manifest in you. Do you understand you're losing yourself when you lose others? You're blessing yourself when you bless others, and that's not unspiritual. He told us to approach prayer, prayer, giving, ministry, like a farmer approaches seed. There is no farmer that plants a seed that doesn't expect to harvest. We're in the day when the plowman overtakes the reaper. Let there be no deception in our ranks, the deception of not doing. Lord, we just declare that uh, what we do with what you have said to us is much more powerful than what you're waiting upon us to do or to say. That we are a company of doers. That this, these people, uh, under the sound of my voice, as we gather together, we are an ascension network. Father God, we are the ecclesia of God. We are an Antioch body. Give us the dynamic that was in Antioch when they prayed and ministered to the Lord. And Paul was raised up. And the world was changed. And we're the dividends of the prayer life of that church. Let us be, listen to me, let us be that church. Let's agree together that we become the ecclesia of God. Not just uh, uh, mouthing words. Not just uh, saying things just to be heard. Not just coming together to have a kumbaya moment and nothing changes. And not to come together with these weak, anemic prayers, feeling sorry for each other in the name of Jesus. We don't want to do that. We want to see change. Lord, we, we pray, we invoke change right now in the name of Jesus over Deborah and Shreveport. There, no food, uh, no home. Uh, the husband was a truck driver. He lost his, his uh, truck. And they don't have jobs. Father God, I pray you'd break the power of the, the vow of poverty over Deborah and her husband in Shreveport, Louisiana. And we declare breakthrough for them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Linda in St. Helens that you would take, we break the spirit of, uh, of uh, pharmakia, the spirit of rebellion and control off of this daughter, She's been manipulated, she's been controlled, and she's resorted to drugs and becoming a manipulator and a controller. We break, the, we just speak the love of God over this little girl, that you would set her free from all desire to do drugs, Father, in Jesus' name. For Rosalind, Father God, let deliverance be in Rosalind's home in Macomb, Michigan, Father. 
We pray for Russ in Minnesota. Lord God, let him be cleared of the crime that he did not commit. I, we pray, now let's agree together for exoneration for Russ. He said that he's been uh, convicted of a crime he didn't commit. We're going to accept that at face value. Why? Because love believes all things. God, we ask that Russ would be cleared of the crime that he did not commit. We pray for Rachel in Spain, Father God. Your kingdom come, your will be done to, for this need that she has in her life. Lord, we pray for Mitchell in Shreveport, Louisiana that is wanting to move on. He's, he's lost his wife and, and he's, he's adrift in his life. Father God, his wife is, has went on to be with the Lord. We pray, now let's just release directive peace to Mitchell in Shreveport, Louisiana. Are you willing to give that to him? You give it out of your kingdom? If you give it out of your kingdom, God will back it up out of his kingdom. Lord, we release directive grace into Mitchell's life. We give it to him. Father. The directive grace we've experienced, we give to Mitchell, such as we have. We give it to him, Father God, because we're here to rule and reign. We're not here to beg, plead, and feel sorry for Mitchell in the name of Jesus. We pray for the touch of God on his life in the name of Jesus. For Dennis in South Africa, we pray, God, for financial breakthrough and healing, for promotion of work and give them the opportunity to go to Sudan in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for Patrick that you deliver him from diabetes and cause financial restoration. God, show him what he needs to do to go sell all that he has and what he makes happen for others, you're going to make happen for him. Cause him to liquidate his surplus and to give out of his penury and financial breakthrough, Father, to come in Jesus' name. For Jin Pei, Father God, for financial freedom and breakthrough, God causes his people to be doers of the word and not just hearers only. Tim, are you there? Uh, go ahead and come on in.
dealing with headaches right now. It's been on the left side of your head right now. Receive your healing now. Jesus says, I'm healing it. Receive it. There is a there is a heating that is happening right now. You feel the warmth. You feel the warmth of the Spirit healing that right now. And symptoms of diabetes, all those who have symptoms of diabetes right now, I want you to go after this broadcast and take a reading of your blood sugar level. We decree that it's yes. normal and yes. that it will stay normal yes. now in Jesus' yes. name. Jesus. Praise the Lord. We thank Come you, Lord on, Jesus. Down. Isaiah 53, by your wounds we are healed. Bless you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father God. God, Rabbi, thank you, Prophet Tim. That's Tim Fox, one of the prophets that's part of Father's Heart Ministry. We're going to be hearing more from Tim in time to come. Let the efficacy of the stripes of Jesus be released upon us, Father, in the name of Jesus. Sitabraba, sitabraba, siparabande, sabraba, sabrasta, sabrasta, keshta radabasata, the efficacy, the efficacy of the stripes of Jesus. Kodabraba, God, make it real, or, or we or just let us go home, Father God. That we, when we come together to pray, Lord God, let it be, uh, let us lay hold of the, the, the 440 reality. The, 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 the reality of reaching out and laying hold of a power beyond ourselves. Lord, we come into agreement. We wash one another's feet, Father God. Now, I just want you to pray uh, for the person nearest you. You don't know where they are. They could be on the other side of the world. But I want you to pray for the person nearest you geographically. And I want you to begin. You don't know their name. But we've got to make this participatory. Let's begin to pray for the person geographically nearest you that begin to wash them, begin to wash their feet in the Spirit. Father, we wash the feet of that person geographically closest to us right now. Let them feel it, Father. Even though some of them are going to feel it physically and they're going to report back. Lord, we're here to wash feet. We're not here to step on toes. We're not here for aggrandizement. We're not here to be seen. We touch. You said if we touch anything, we touch the feet of this one. How lovely are the feet of him that tells the good news. God, let the good news of financial provision, healing, relationship restoration be upon this one. We wash feet. We gird ourselves, Father God, with the towel of prayer. Even as Jesus girded himself, we take off our persona, Father God, and what we expect and how we see ourselves. And we gird ourselves with a towel of prayer. And we wrap it around ourselves and we wash the feet of that person geographically closest to us right now. You said if we did this, our joy would be full. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Brasta, brasta, brasta. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the midst of this, all of our technology just failed. We've had that happen before. 
uh, technology doesn't hold up very well under the anointing. So we're going to get it reinitialized. We're going to start right back. So to be kissed in the Boramande, the Bosota de me, the Bacasha Boraba Sata, Sita Baramande de Bia Sota de Borabande de Bia Casta de Boraba Sata de Bia Sataya. Praise your name, O God. So to the Mindy Boraba Sete me, Madame Sita de Bia Casta Boraba Sete de Miara Boraba Sete. Kita Madame Indi de Bia Sata de Vada Boraba Sata de Mia Bacosta de Boraba Sete de Miana Macostaya. Kate be the Braban de Nemia de Braba set in Mia de Braba Castaya. Sita de Debedi de Bia Sata de Braba set in me. Sita de Badabra Braba set in a Bia Casabra de Braba set in a Bia de Braba set. Kate Braban de Debia Sapocosa Braba set in Bia Sata de Bacosta in Bia Sataya. Sita da braba sete de biara braba sete de biara braba sete de biara. Thank you, Father God. Sota braba sete de mia braba sete de de bia castata. Yes, we are still praying. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. Sita da braba de de biara braba sata da da baka sata da be sete de de bia sata da baka sata. Well, we we lost our our link and our all of our connections went down, but we're back. <laughs> Thank you, God. We cannot be stopped. Sota Baraba Sita de Brabande de Bia Sopoko Rabo Sete. Father, we thank you. Thank you for hanging in there. Those of you that are connected with us by Ustream, those of you that were connected with us by a conference call, thank you for staying with us. Sita Baraba Sete de Bia Sopoko. We've had that happen before. When we did our first conference, we had 3,000 people come into a small group home meeting. And uh, we. Uh, had people reporting their computers were uh, rebooting spontaneously, but we're back. That's good. That, that, that lets us know that we're having an impact. Now, we pray. We wash the feet of that person geographically close to us. I don't know that you heard that, so I'm going to pick up on this. I'm going to come back. Uh, we wash the feet, Father God, of that person spiritually that is nearest to us geographically. Sota Bacasta de Brava Sete Shete Kesta Brava Sete Ra Brasta 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 Sita Bacaste de Bia Sata de Borobo Coste de Bia Sata Loraba Sete de Bia Castoto Besta Brava Sata Barraba Sata. Do you realize that there are things that happen when you pray in the Spirit? There are things that happen. There is a there is never such a unity of the Spirit, never such a Matthew 18 agreement as when you pray in the Spirit. And it's true. The scripture says that the mind is unfruitful. Uh, but God is aligning himself uh, within us to bring about. It's God working with God. It's the, what some people call the initiatives of heaven that are coming together and being worked out in our lives and being worked out as he brings us together in oneness and in unity. So to the old timers understood this. They knew what it was to pray all night. They knew what it was to come together in the mind of the Spirit. It's not important that we have the mind of man, but the mind of the Spirit. And praying in tongues makes that happen. I want you to have a holy ambition to pray in tongues like Paul did, more than you all. We pray for Raquel, Father God, David and Nala. In the name of Jesus, we speak breakthrough over them, Father, 
in the name of Jesus. And we know you're going to bring Phoenix home, Father God. We've established that it's going to happen. Seta Batista in the name of Jesus. Sota Baraba Keste de Debia, so Robo Sete de Mindi Debia, Sota Bar. Enlarge your territory, Father God. Sata rain down blessings upon your people. Kita Barabedi de Braba Sete de Bia, Shopko Rabraba Sete de Bia, Sata de Bacasta B. Sita Barabande de Debia, Sota Baraba de Debi Kiste de Bia, Robo Sata de Bacasta de Bia Sata. We worship you, Lord God. We exalt you, Father God. We pray for a chevalier. Let's pray for a chevalier. God, we release your kingdom. Let the angel of change come to initiate the change upon chevalier, Father, in Jesus' name. Sota barabande de de bisita, basta barabandete, kisto de baraba site de mia baraba costi de barabe site. Banda rabi site de mia baraba costo baraba sata. Sita ba kasta baraba, desta baraba de chishimi de ba kasta. We worship you, Lord God. We praise your name. Sota de baraba. So you know this has been one of the most active war rooms that we've had as I've watched the texts coming in and the emails coming in. The enemy attacked us, but guess what? We're back. Guess what? We cannot be stopped. We're not dependent upon technology. We're dependent upon the anointing. We are the ecclesia of God. We are convening to do business and to wage war against the enemy of the kingdom. Sota baraba kosta baraba sata brasta 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 sete de biki tashunya baraba se bakasta mondo baraba sete lo baraba sete de bi araba baraba de de bi kista bananda baraba sete de bi shapara bakosta ya. Let's go to the emails and let's pray over some more emails. We pray for Sean. In Liberia, Father God, that you would release discernment upon Sean. Soto Badabidi for Leah in Alabama. God give her, Leah the presence of God back in her life. Do you agree with that? Can Leah have the presence of God back in her life? Well, then let your kingdom come upon her so that God's kingdom will be manifest. Soto Baraba Costa Bidibi. I know. I know if, if you want answers to prayer you've never had before, you have to pray what you've never prayed before. Things are the way they've been because of what we've been doing. It's time to do something different. And yes, it's going to offend the religious bone, but we have to push past that. He's made us kings and priests unto God. We worship you, God. We pray for Manny in Ontario. Let your kingdom come, your will be done, Father. Soto Baraba for Anthony in Nigeria. God deliver him from all the attacks of the enemy. Soto Bakos for Makala in Grandview. Let your kingdom come, your will be done, and let it manifest in the form of a husband, Father, in Jesus' name. Sita da Baraba Sata de Bikista Baraba Sata da Bedebi Daraba Sata de Biakasha Baraba Sata for Princess in Houston. God, I pray that you'd bring all of those that are in need of a mate. I declare over you, I break the curse that would say you're going to have to be single for Jesus. You're not going to have to be single for Jesus. It is not good to be alone. Therefore, I say you are not going to be alone. All of you that have need of financial breakthrough, I pray for you. And I command you to go out and to liquidate your surplus, to give out of your penury or your poverty and because money moves by the Spirit, and God's going to shake things up. Things are the way they are because of what you've been doing. And if you want something different, you must do something different in the very area where you need your breakthrough. So I command you, in the name of Jesus, to go out and liquidate. If you have, Jesus said, if you have two coats, let's give one away. Two cars, give one away. Two appliances, give one away. It's time for a wall-to-wall -wall solution. And I charge you, in the name of Jesus to go out and liquidate your surplus. Identify your surplus and go make it a blessing because I declare to you what you make happen for someone else, God's going to make happen to you. I charge you in the name of Jesus to do this because it's important that the finances of the kingdom flow to you uh, for the sake of the kingdom and we've got to get you there and it starts by removing the blockages of all the stuff. That's what Saul does. Listen to me, folks. 
Saul hides in the stuff. And that spirit of Saul needs to be broken and not be hiding in the stuff. Let's liquidate the stuff so that the currency of the kingdom can flow to us. And, and when you liquidate the surplus, then you have opportunity to give out of your poverty. And when you give out of your poverty, God increases your capacity for blessing. And you move into that place where money moves by the spirit. That woman gave in the treasury that Jesus was looking into. It's time for you to begin to look for the treasury that Jesus is looking into into. There is a treasury. There's a ministry. There is a, a, a place to give somewhere that you see it right now. That you see it. God's going to reveal it to you. And you're going to have a vision of Jesus looking into this treasury and he's waiting on the gift that's out of your poverty. Now what is that gift? That's the gift uh, that uh, you lay awake nights thinking, I sure hope that's God because if it isn't, I'm in trouble. That's the gift. Give that gift. God will reveal it to you. It might be your church. It might be a ministry online. It might be a ministry on the radio or on the television. Uh, God's going to show it to you. It might be a soup kitchen uh, across town from you. But that's the treasury that Jesus is looking into for the gift with your name on it. And it's going to produce breakthrough. But let it not be a paltry gift. But let it be that there are those that gave cast in of their abundance. But let it be the gift of your out of your poverty. Let it be the gift that actually puts you in a bind and makes you pray, Oh God, I sure hope that was you because if it wasn't, I'm in trouble. Give that gift. Financial breakthrough will come upon you. Things are the way they are because of what you're doing. If you want something different, you have to do something different. If you want what you've never had before, you have to do what you've never done before in the very area where you need breakthrough the most. Whether it's with your husband or your spouse or relationships or your children. Uh, the, the definition of insanity, Einstein says, is doing the same thing over and again, expecting a different result. I release the grace to make the chaos decision that you don't understand, but God gets behind and endorses. Oh, praise your name, God. Praise God, we serve a prayer answering God. We are not denied. We're not in denial. <laughs> oh, we have the stipend of heaven. He said he would meet all of our needs according to his riches and glory, Philippians 4.19, and the glory is in you, Colossians chapter 1, verse 26. We worship you, God. Now let's love on him. Let's just love on him in a minute. Pray with me. Worship the Lord with me. Let's touch one another as we pray. Let's agree. Reach out to that person that's nearest you geographically and wrap uh, your arms around their shoulders. And let's pray and have the fellowship of the saints just for a moment as we worship the Father together. <speaking in Hebrew> We worship you, Lord. We praise your name. We soto show. You're so good to us, Papa. You're so good to us, and we love you. We worship you. We praise you. Oh, Father God, we're in awe of who and what you are. So, Daba, we're not interested in pretense. We want real prayer. Real, do you want the real deal? I don't think you'd take your time to connect via these technologies if you didn't want the real deal. We are not denied tonight. He is a God of reality, and he gives reality to us. We're here to wash feet, not step on toes. We're here to enter into a, under the canopy of love, under the hupa. We are under the hupa of the bridegroom tonight. And it's love that never fails. God, I release that to you, the acceptance. There's, there's those of you struggling with the acceptance of God. You think you've sinned away your, your plan A. 
You know God loves you, but you think you've sinned away, plan A, because you did some dumb things. God says plan A is still on the table. So, and for those of you that have moved into plan B, you need to know that plan B is exponentially better than plan A. Thank you, Father. I want to tell you about a book I'm really excited about in our closing moments. Uh, we have produced on paperback the very first year of the Daily Prophetic Word. It's available on Amazon. You can do a search for my name or for the title, which is The Father Says Today, or for my name, Russell Walden. And uh, I just, it's a great time for uh, Christmas gifts. If you ever wanted to give uh, The Father Says Today to someone, and you can open it. It's the very first year of the Daily Prophetic Words, and you can open it up to the date and give that uh, uh, word to someone to be a benefit and a blessing to them. And so I encourage you uh, to do that. I also ask that you pray about a partnership. We have a, now transitioned the Jericho Drive into the Global Prophetic Initiative. We had the Shout the Shout conference, and now we've established the Global Prophetic Initiative because the Lord told us after 12 major cities in the States, we would do 12 countries in 12 months. And so we're going international, and we need partners. Um, we need, you know, we don't push for money in Father's Heart Ministry, but we make the opportunities available. The Lord told us months ago to talk about partnership. You can go to our website, click on the donate link, and you can establish a partnership with us financially. And there are several amounts to choose from. And I just ask, if the daily prophetic word has been a blessing to you, if you consider us to be the prophets in your life, you have a pastor and you support your pastor. If you consider us to be the prophets in your life, then I ask you to pray about a partnership, a financial partnership with Russ and Kitty Walden, with Father's Heart Ministry, to help create a, a, an underwriting of our financial base in order to uh, take into account the, the added expense of going to the nations, flights and, and et cetera, places to stay as we go around the world with the gospel. And uh, we, we are going to be doing that. And we ministered to a lady named Donna today, an awesome prophet of God in Norway. And we pray for her right now in the name of Jesus and speak breakthrough over Donna's life in Jesus' name. And uh, I just pray, if the Lord, allow the Lord to speak to you. If, uh, if you consider us the prophets in your life, I ask you to consider a financial partnership with us. As we partner with you and you partner with us, things begin to shift, things begin to happen. And I thank you for listening to that, for being willing to entertain that and consider it prayerfully. It's been an honor to pray with you. It's been a little bit different uh, this time. Uh, we've been upgrading our equipment and, of course, you upgrade equipment, and what happens? You get technology failure. But the prayers uh, do not fail. We've recorded this prayer time in its entirety. We'll be uh, pulling it off the cameras and sending it uh, in, its, uh, complete, in its completeness out to the entire mailing list so that people will be blessed. It's a blessing. It's an honor to wash the feet of the Christ in you. It's an honor to speak to who Jesus is in your life. Uh, we thank you for joining us. We don't take your participation for granted. It means something to us. And we're going to continue to pray. We know we didn't get to all the prayer, the prayer requests. We're going to. And we're going to get better at this as we go. Thank you for your patience. And thank you for your prayers and for your intercession. Those of you that are in the wildfire group on Facebook, uh, let us know you were here tonight, and thank you for joining uh, with us. Uh, we appreciate it. It's good, to, it's good to have you. We've met you at our conferences as we've traveled around the country. We're going down to Atlanta now in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and uh, we'll be stopping over in Nashville before we return back to the Branson, Missouri area. If we can connect with you, we'd sure like to do that. We'll be in Thomaston, Georgia on the 28th. We'll be in McDonough, Georgia on the 27th. I think I've got those dates right. And um, we'll be in Nashville after that. We'll be stopping through um, uh, Griffin, Georgia, our friends in Atlanta. We hope you connect with us. We're going down to the International Gathering of Apostles and Prophets and our friend Bill Lackey, uh, who works with the prophetic teams there, the prophetic school there. We look forward to connecting with Bishop Hammond's ministry. He's the Papa Prophet of the United States and has been for a long time. We love you. 
we appreciate you. Thank you for your participation tonight. This concludes our broadcast.